All right, let's bring in our panel. Santita Jackson is the host of the Santita Jackson Show. We also have Lloyd Chapman. He is the president of the American Small Business League and director of policy and special counsel for the AFL-CIO. Damon Silvers is with us as well. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Lloyd, let me Thank start you. with you. The president put a heavy emphasis in his speech just now on having businesses and especially small businesses create more jobs. What do you think is the best way to achieve that? What could the government do to help small businesses create more jobs? I think it's real simple. The U.S. Census Bureau tells us that uh, small businesses create 95% of all net new jobs. And there's a federal law that says 23% of all government contracts should go to small businesses. And yet there's been, I think, 25 investigations to show that that's not happening. So there's a new bill in Congress called H.R. 2568 that will stop the government from giving small business contracts to Fortune 500 corporations. That will redirect about $100 billion a year in current federal infrastructure spending uh, to the middle class economy. I think that's the most effective thing that anyone's proposed so far. Um, Santita, I want to bring you in the conversation here. African Americans are seeing the highest rate of unemployment across this country overall as, overall as, a, as a block. We're looking at, on average, 15.7%. And the Congressional Black Caucus is asking that job creation efforts be better aimed at this community. Talk about that. What are the top things you think need to be done? Well, indeed, targeted problems, targeted issues like this. Uh, we have depression level unemployment in the African American community, so we do need targeted solutions. But the fact is, as I listen to my callers on my radio show every day on WBON, we want solutions right now. The fact is, uh, black problems, according to my audience, have now become white problems. You know, white people now have black problems in America. So what does that mean? We're watching one million American children in the public school system who are homeless. We're watching 49 million Americans who are food insecure. So we need, uh, we have depression-like conditions in the African-American community, and we're seeing that spread across the country. And we need depression-era uh, jobs for programs from the government, WPA style programs. We have problems, we have issues. We have work in America, we just need jobs okay. now. We have a crumbling infrastructure. What are we gonna do about that? We need jobs. Let's ask Damon about that. I mean, because Damon, the normal criticism of that is that those are programs that aren't sustainable over time, that that's a one-time fix. Do you think that direct hiring would be a good idea? Yes, the AFL-CIO has a, uh, the American Labor Movement has a five-point program uh, that's designed to put millions of Americans back to work that the president of the AFL-CIO was bringing to the job summit this afternoon with President Obama. A and those five points are, one, that we desperately need uh, extensions of unemployment benefits, health insurance, nutrition aid uh, for the millions who are unemployed. Two, uh, that we need to put uh, people to work on that work that uh, Samir was talking about, some badly needs to be done in infrastructure. We need to uh, uh, start filling our $2.2 .2 trillion infrastructure deficit. Three, uh, we, need mo we need aid to state and local governments so that our teachers, uh, our, our, our emergency responders are not going to be laid off, uh, that our school children are staying in school. Uh, we need that aid to state and local governments large scale. Three, we need direct job creation in, in those hard-hit communities and communities of color. Uh, uh, that where we have depression era uh, conditions uh, and four uh, 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 four we need or I guess I'm, I'm on to five I'm miscounting uh, we need that aid to small business uh, and here we support a program uh, proposed by Senator Warner of Virginia uh, to get credit to get lending uh, uh, from Wall Street to Main Street to put TARP money to work directly lent to small and medium-sized businesses uh, with the help of community banks uh, so that small and medium-sized business can play its role as that job creation engine uh, for our economy uh, that program is what we need immediately okay. to deal with a 10 million dollar job deficit but mm -hmm. longer term, longer term, we need a program for making America a country of good jobs again. Okay. And we, we have a profound structural problem here that needs to be fixed long term. Mm -hmm. And let's bring in Michael in right now. He had the New America Foundation's economic growth program. So my question to you, Michael, with regard to the efficacy of the $787 billion stimulus program, to what extent do you think Congress is seriously considering a second stimulus program and to what extent is the American public going to stomach that? 
Well, I don't think that the term stimulus was even appropriate in the first place. We're not looking at an ordinary recovery where you have a slight shot at the arm before things go back to normal. We're looking at the collapse of a bubble economy that lasted for more than a decade, uh, the disappearance of, of vast numbers of jobs in the debt-based housing sector and financial sector. So we argue that you don't need just a recovery program. You need a recovery, a, a program of long-term economic reconstruction. Uh, and when it comes to the stimulus, uh, Congress and the White House have to explain to the public that every single industrial country in the world, including developing countries like China, has gone deeply into debt to deal with this depression-like crisis. This is not limited to the United States. In the long term, if we can get the economy growing again, that will help us reduce the yeah. deficit more than raising taxes prematurely. Yeah, and one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about was job um, tax cuts for small businesses as well. It's an incentive, but I think we're out of time. Yeah, we are, unfortunately. But that's what happens when you have four intelligent people talking, and, you know, what are you going to do? Only so much time. Thanks for well, joining thank us. Thank you very much, Michael, Lloyd, thank Santita, you. and Damon.